Take something new under the sun mm. You can't take back some things You're already done, done No You blame things that you do On somebody else Hello folks and welcome to my channel. My name is Richard Lake. If you've not watched the channel before, I do lots of long distance cycling, wild camping, regular camping, which will be become a thing soon, later on this month, May the 17th. So I've gone through three, three lockdowns, lots of bad weather. Mostly the lockdowns have prevented me doing any camping. Doing about 85k today because tomorrow's gonna be rainy, I'm not gonna be riding it tomorrow. Because you know, if you watch my if you have seen my channel before, watch me spark camping, I tend to prefer hiding away in the woods. Outside, out of mind. And this time of year, when it's bloody cold, out of the way of the frost as well. In my last wild camping video, for which I'll stick a link in the corner. It took place on the April the 13th, the day after we were permitted to uh, stay over away from home. One of the differences between that ride and this ride, apart from different bike and different place, is in that ride I was out in the open with a bivvy bag. Today I have opted to go for the tent because there's an outside chance the rain which is expected tomorrow might arrive a little bit early so I'd rather not get wet overnight don't mind getting wet in the morning because it's uh, about three quarter of an hour ride home but uh, not overnight same sleeping bag kind of a winter one it's getting out to about three or four tonight so there's some more one can't come out just yet In the distance, I can see my next climb. My first climb. Not many climbs today. It's kind of the steepest one as well. It's called Grinkley on the Hill. Not really told you if you're new to the channel where I'm riding. Well, based in North Lincolnshire, west of Scunthorpe in the Isle of Axome, where it is completely flat. And on this bike, as you see it's a triple, you might be able to tell I don't know if you can see very well on the camera I've never used the uh, triple before so may well have to use it today Heading north now with a tailwind. I tell you what, it's surprising what you can find when you go somewhere a little bit different. In case of the road that I took, Windley Road out of Clarborough, a bit it's like a 10% climb, modest climb. I kept, kept going, I was like, oh, this is really nice. Fact this in the future. And then there's a gate where you could just go down the side of it, went through a uh, little farmhouse. Obviously didn't want traffic down there, or motorised traffic. Get about the other side, there's a side say restricted byway. I was like, well thanks for putting a dead end side or something up. I don't mind that kind of thing. Is it's because it was gravel the other side. Unless I'm on a gravel bike or mountain bike. Not really gonna factor that in again. This ride's gonna actually be a little bit less than 85. 
because I'm going to have to take out a little bit of a loop because I'm a little bit behind schedule and I just want to set up in the relatively light not too dark if you look on the helmet I forgot to bring my exposure light in Loughton Woods haven't that's where I'm going to be staying in there's plenty of places you can enter the woods and there should be plenty of places to set up camp as well well that was useful there's Rose's Garden oh Rose's Garden I beg your pardon no Rose's Cafe and just over there at the hand car wash oh, oh I can get some water hit one tap and it didn't work it was stiff as anything but right around the back another opportunity for tap water so that means I haven't gone into a shop and leave my bike unattended put my snood on and all that nonsense pretty good for time really I may not have to cut the ride short after all quick check of the time 7.45 there's loads of time 32k to go bought some food along with me got some a tin of beans I made sure I didn't need to bring a tin opener with me got some savoury rice as well some porridge for later on some coffee for the morning along with that porridge has me sorted There's a cafe over there what's called Riverhead Coffee Riverside Coffee looking forward to that opening again I say over there Reed's Coffee Shop and uh, KLCC is Curtin Lindsay's Cycling Club I did a couple of rides well to be fair only one ride with, the, with a group back in well it must have been December I ended up having a takeaway breakfast and coffee there I can't wait for things to go back to normal eat indoors yay can't really believe I'm saying that because I usually don't mind being outdoors but the weather it's been such a bad spring quick stop here at McDonald's and look at this lots of stupid people here why don't they go inside got to serve a lot quicker Oh great, we've been dressing the road 20 mile per hour speed limit max and of course do people stick to that? Here's your answer. Anyway I'm glad it's on the other side because this side's a bit of flattened down a little bit more now. So it's going to be a beautiful evening. The shadows are getting quite long now so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to get into Blyton then I'm going to drop into Loughton itself and start heading through the woods so I've still got at least a little bit of light to uh, set myself up in if I go deep enough into the woods no one will see me beautiful sunset I have to quickly put my uh, Lights on as I go through the woods, but back, back light anyway at least. It's half eight and it's still light. Getting excited for the summer. Bloody raining on arrival. <laughs> Not much longer now. I found myself a quiet little spot in the woods. It's really annoying that I can't camp at a campsite at the moment. Mm. Those people with caravans, you know, they've got it easy. Last couple of pegs to do and I've only got one peg. Oh no, there's another one. Oh, right, nearly done. I'm going to go get something to eat. I don't know how well you can see things, but... Sleeping bag's in there. Sleeping pillow. Yes, luxury today. Sleeping batter as well, of course. The only thing I haven't got today. Um, three quarter length bibs on. I didn't do bring anything to cover them. Hopefully when I actually, actually get in the uh, sleeping bag, I'll be fine. So first up on the menu is pilau rice. So I'm going to have that. And then, camp favourite, some baked beans. Yummy. Nice. Come on food, hurry up. 
boiling nicely but I think I might have put too much water in, I don't know. I've had my rice, I've had my beans, I'm just going to chill out a couple of uh, ciders now and uh, I'll sh I shall see you in the morning. Alarm is set for five, needs to be gone by six o'clock I think. Get ahead of that rain. Morning. <laughs> God, quite a bit cold. And my legs are a little bit cold this morning. This is a spot maybe you can see a bit better now. This guy's looking a bit grim up there, but it's just dry for now. It's just gone five o'clock. Just about to have breakfast. I'm um, not messing around. Bowl's ready. Some oats. I'm on my way. It's look a bit dull, isn't it? Oh dear. Hopefully, I'll get back home before, before it starts raining or anything. Not too far from here. I've just got to go to Kidby Bridge and straight down the A18 or I can go by Beltoft but there'll be very little traffic on the road so I think I'll stick to the A18 Don't see any frost, it's good Hope you've enjoyed watching this video Maybe it's inspired you to do a bit of wild camping. It's a lovely morning. I've always said that, but it is. There's no wind. I ought to do this more often. Bike rides in the morning. Misjudged the cold this morning. Or rather the temperature. Because it's not actually that cold. The gloves are off. Snoods off. Could have done with taking the base layer off as well, but uh, not now, less than 10k to go. Beautiful smell. As I ride home Saturday morning, it's uh, occurs to me how people so value their freedom despite everything what's happened in the last 12 months. You know, people have finally got their freedom back. And what do they do with it? They're lying in bed. <laughs> I've opted for the A18, which is just as well because uh, I've just gone up the road and the rain has arrived already. I mean, this is just a down jacket. It's had to keep me warm, not dry. So just go down the road here for what 10 minutes if you've got any comments questions you know what to do put them down below well hey folks as you can see i'm back home in the warmth uh, i've got changed bike has been put away hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed what, what you're watching and i'll uh, see you again soon in the next video see you later bye bye There's a place in my mind.